we're here at St. David's to launch the Child Witness Foundation. The work that is being done is extremely important. It's really about making sure that the justice system embraces the experiences and perspectives of the child. We live in a world where the system is made for grown-up people, it's run by grown-up people, and the rules are based on the experiences of grown-up people. And over the years, there's been an attempt to make sure that we understand how a child thinks, a, a child's experience, and to adapt the system to enable a child to engage meaningfully. Many cases are lost in courts on issues of child abuse, including rape, not because there was no wrongdoing against the child, but because the rules that were applied were not child-friendly. The work that is being done, being done by the Child Witness Institute is to sensitize the police, social workers, judges and magistrates to the experiences and perspectives of a child. And secondly, they're not dismissive of what a child says, because a child would say something based on how a child sees a world. So there's really enormous opportunity for government to tap into the work that is being done. A lot of things fall through the cracks because of lack of integration between what is done by the police, the social workers, the clerks of the court and ultimately the judiciary. In the 18 years that we've been around, we have accomplished quite a lot, but we have great difficulties in getting a coordinated approach to our child witnesses in the judicial system to get them to get justice, to get the proper treatment. Um, we're hoping with the support of advocate uh, Madan Sela that we're going to get that coverage, that we're going to get people to buy into our concept of ending this violence, of working together so that we can assist our kids and so we can go back to doing prevention programs on the ground. It's not enough for us to enforce the law around um, crime uh, crime involving abuse of children, rape, etc. It is important for us to find out why and to prevent it from happening in the first instance. And the last crime statistics show that when it comes to prevention, we still have a long way to go.